Hey guys, I'm Chosen Architect, and this is Dawncraft. So boy, oh boy, do I have some stuff to cover today. So I did go ahead and get some prep work done with the Create mod. Uh, so we unlocked this last episode, and I wanted to get a bit of this done. Also get myself a little bit of a road made, so that way I have a nice large area to play around with this mod. But in doing so, well, I did also work on a few things and read the comments that you guys have been suggesting to me. And, uh, well, I've made myself a lunchbox. And I didn't know this was even in here or a part of the Spice of Life Apple Pie Edition. Uh, but this is this is actually uh, tremendously helpful. This is beyond helpful. Um, what you can do to craft this is you make, of course, the lunch bag first, then make the lunch box, and then make the golden lunch box, which has a lot more space. You can shift right click to get inside this. And what this does is every time you eat or need to eat, you just eat from the lunch box and it will choose a random food. And this will help diversify the amount of food that you're going to be eating. That seems pretty crazy, right? Pretty great. All right, c come in a little closer. All right, all right, all right. Too, too close. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Let's, let's have a little bit of a talk, right? This mod pack has updated. And well, it's actually received a couple of updates since I've started playing. Um, I haven't, however, been able to upgrade to any of those updates because of crashing issues. So I'm still stuck on the 17 F2 version of this mod pack as of this recording. But I did want to talk about a few things that have happened in the newer versions for you guys who may be watching who have started in the newer versions. I'm sorry, but the levitation ability that you see me use, you may not be able to make that anymore because it does seem like the recipe was changed. I did read the change logs and all belts, apparently belts in general from ours have had a recipe change. I don't know if it's incredibly difficult or what the main change is, but it has been changed. Now, I wonder if after today's video, if even more is going to change because we're gonna be breaking some things with the create mod. Now I have been prepping uh, in between episodes. I did stream over on Twitch. If you haven't checked that out, twitch.tv forward slash chosen architect, you can follow me over there. But I have been, I, I prepped up some create items and things like that. And the hardest thing I found about getting started with create in this pack is just the mining of andesite that you're going to need to do. But I think I found a solution to this. And that is via the cart assembler, a simple rail, a contraption that I'm going to show you what it looks like here in just a moment, and a lever. Yes, that is basically all you need. Um, however, you are going to need glue as well. Uh, all of this from the create mod. And uh, let me just for just quick purposes, show you what my particular contraption looks like, uh, because you can make this however you like. You place down a rail, place down a card assembler, and you place down your contraption. And notice this contraption is just a solid block that is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, a 10 by five or five by five by 10 right here, block of, of, of locks. It was just simple to put together. And then I have a block on the top attached. And then what I have is I've glued this section and I've glued it to the center part here. And then I've just glued everything else to itself. And so it's just a nice glued contraption. Now, the benefit of this is that we can now give it a redstone signal. It becomes a contraption. It can be pushed along and stuff like that. But that's not what I want. I want it to turn into a contraption so I can just right click it and pick it up and take it with me. So what is the benefit of this? Well, we can actually use this to break blocks. Let me show you down in my mind. Now, one thing I did down here was I lit up the area with ours. I took the liberty of going down here and lighting this up all during the stream. Didn't really do too much except for some mining. But this is where the fun happens. This is an andesite biome. And so the majority of this is all andesite. You can see the walls are andesite. And this is where things get crazy. So, if I want to mine this whole section here, all I have to do is do exactly what I showed, place the rail, place the assembler, and then place my contraption. And yes, it fills the whole thing just like that. And then I can, of course, take this, turn it back, and then pick it back up, and even pick all of these up easily, and just walk through, <laughs> pick up all of the blocks that it broke. Basically making a tunnel bore. And yes, you can make this even larger than I currently have this set to. 
Um, it's this. I just set this up conveniently to make some nice looking tunnels. But of course, this could be made quite large and quite destructive as well, unfortunately. That is the only side effect of this. Now, normally I wouldn't show things like this because I would consider them exploits. But in this particular case, I will go ahead and say that uh, I don't really think this is an exploit. If you, if you consider this an exploit, then that would mean cobble generators that are uh, that are being done with create that move blocks side to side to break, co break cobblestone would also be considered an exploit in create. But in this particular case, I feel like this is the exact same mechanic that that is using. When a block takes another block's place, when it is a contraption in create, it will break the block and thus you can use this method to do that. Now, something that's even crazier is it can be automated with Create. Uh, you can actually use deployers to handle the wrench and the placement of contraptions. So you could have a setup where it is actually placing its own contraption and then picking the contraption up after triggering a redstone signal, collecting it and replacing it back inside of a deployer, which would be insane in my opinion. So if you were wondering how I got started so quickly in Create, well, now you know. That is all of the andesite. And all I did here was I set up a contraption. I basically have myself a water wheel that is connected to some gears that is being gear ratioed up times two. And that spins and allows me to get plates. This is the first thing you need to set up with Create uh, in order to get started with Create is because you need plates. That is the first thing you need to do. Belts, by the way, come from kelp, and thankfully we're right near an ocean, so that was really simple. So, oddly enough, it doesn't seem like the feeding upgrade was working. I noticed kind of switch uh, channels here, but um, I did even try the advanced upgrade, and for some reason, it is not wanting to work. So, with our actual lunchbox, it's, uh, it's not working at all. So, even if I put it in here and make sure it's on allow mode, and even if I set it to make sure it always keeps me full and ignore... It's still not pulling or deciding to eat from the lunchbox. So I don't think this will work, but the feeding upgrade is still going to be very important. So what I can actually do is uh, I can open this up. And when we go into battle, make sure to put Ratatouille inside and make sure we have this turned on. Um, and uh, then that will allow us to be able to, uh, to constantly eat and not have to use our lunchbox during battle. So I'll just basically keep some in my inventory and then make sure to shut this off until we jump into battle, and then I'll turn this on and it will consume the ratatouille. But until then, we do need to use this, and we'll make sure to keep different foods in here and it will rotate through them. This is a very important because this allows me to get my Spice of Life book uh, to sort of uh, grant us some benefits. I think right now I actually have a benefit. If I take a look at my book, I do have, it's at 16 on our diversity, which gives us combat stamina of uh, plus five, which is going to be beneficial. Now, I've been testing out my combat skills with the target dummy, and I have found that, uh, well, I was not using my abilities effectively because I didn't know I had to assign a hotkey to it. So I did assign my weapon ability to F, and this is really cool. So once my bar is completely filled on the right, the little icon, once it hits completely full, I can then hit F, and it does like a double attack. And I feel like every weapon has this sort of ability. This is pretty cool. And it, you can almost trigger it immediately. So the problem though is we sort of lunge forward and so we can get ourselves sort of out of, uh, out of range if we're not careful and we'll end up behind them. So yeah, but it is really cool that we can activate this quite quickly like that. That's a pretty good attack. So today we're going after nine tails. Now, of course, I want to do some more adventuring uh, before like directly going for the new boss, but uh, we can definitely find out where it's at and uh, along that journey, do some more looting and adventuring. I think that is going to hopefully get us kitted up a little bit better. Hopefully we can find some diamond gear because all I've seemed to be able to find is either iron or chainmail gear or even leather gear, which is just not going to cut it here in the future, I don't think. Um, but, uh, in the meantime, I think I should be able to make myself a quiver for our arrows. And I think that just requires some leather and, uh, some sticks. Let's see. So, there is this quivers mod in here, and, uh, we should be able to get into this. Yeah, it just requires a feather. I have plenty of feathers. I did slaughter all of the chickens. 
So this is the base quiver. And apparently if you hit in uh, while it's in your inventory, it's supposed to open up. Maybe not. Or we can give it a name. Okay. Well, that's interesting. And then we open it up. Okay. So that opens up. And does the bow just use the quivers? It does not. Not directly anyways. There's some interaction. Does it need to go in our quiver slot? That it might. And it might only work while actually in the quiver slot. What is considered a quiver slot though? This spot right here? Ah, so yeah. Once it's in, then we can hit the in key. Oh, and in the top left, we can see how many arrows we have. Ah, and then it works. Oh, that's nifty. And then it looks like we can upgrade this by adding some feathers to it. And we can go even into gold. I don't want to go into diamond just yet, but I, I still don't even think I'm going to use this many, this many arrows. That's like an entire inventory, like an entire backpack, but just for arrows. Oh, that saves me space, so I don't have to keep them in here. Yeah, we can just store all of our arrows in there. Oh, that's going to be so nice. And before I head out on another adventure, I definitely want to purchase this other power bow and combine it now that I have anvils unlocked. I should be able to combine these two bows together. And there we go. So we can put these together and that will give me power three on this bow. And unfortunately, we don't have unbreaking right now. And I don't know if I have an unbreaking book, but it'd be really nice if I could put it on there. So I am equipped and in my traveling gear, we could say. And uh, I'm about to head off. So I think this is going to be a good time to go adventuring. I now am stacked with food. I have plenty of different variation and we should be able to get ourselves some regeneration here soon because uh, we are about to hit that 25 on our variants of food. Regeneration one is is a is quite a lot that's quite a lot early game and uh should help benefit especially with some of these foods some of these foods that uh, allow you to regenerate like i have comforts right now and the comfort ability allows me to regenerate regardless of my saturation levels so yeah this could end up being pretty darn powerful now my map is pointing to the north and uh we've got to head off in the northern direction oh boy and uh, this looks like it's going to be quite far. We are a very tiny dot. I wonder what this thing is. I've seen a couple of these and I have yet to remotely take a look at it. It does seem like it gives us some things. Just don't know what that thing is. Huh. Oh, no, there's guardians down here. Oh, boy, that could. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'm just ready for that. These things annihilate your gear and, well, do a lot of damage to you as well. But I will be back for you soon. Oh boy, now I know why there's guardians because that is, well, not something I want to work on right now either. The elder guardians are down there. Poor villagers, you're like in the worst spot ever for this. Look, it's like a little mushroom biome here. Oh, this could be a great place. Yeah, mushroom fields. This could be a great place outside of the dark forest. Oh, to be able to get... Oh, there's Among Us here. Oh, I keep I keep forgetting that this mod is in here. I love Alex's mobs. And look, there's Among Us. How are you doing, buddy? Oh, man, he's so sus. So this is apparently a stony shore, but I, I definitely recognize a spawner when I see one. Let's get into combat mode. I wonder if this thing can even spawn. If not, we'll just break it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's going to... Well, and we get some free gear. I don't want Curse of Binding. That can that can stay in there, but I'll take all the other goodies for sure, including a zombie head. Oh, I was hoping for a fight. You know what? Right here is a Starbuncle, and I have got, I've yet to have the chance of act, to actually get this guy going. So let's go ahead and, and actually get one of these guys. All we have to do to get this thing turned into a shard is to, well, give it a nugget. I, I I don't remember if you have to... Yeah, there it goes. We just click it, and there we go. We got two Starbuckle shards from that, and uh, thankfully we got that gold because I didn't bring any with me. Now, Starbuckles are pretty darn useful. You can summon it as a familiar, and I believe it gives you a speed boost if summoned like that. Uh, or you can use it to collect drops from, like, farms and stuff like that. So it's definitely handy. All you have to do is kind of place it on the chest and link it with a Dominion Wand to the chest, and it'll just run around in an area and collect all the things that are on the ground and put it in the chest for you. 
pretty, pretty cool. I mean, shoot, it'll even auto farm the source berries for you if you wanted to farm for those. So judging by my health bar, I definitely now have regeneration. You can see by the hearts going up and down that that's the case. Very cool. And just in time, too, because we're actually getting pretty close. Uh, I do, however, want to pop down in here and see if there's any chests lingering. Yes, there's a chest. Okay. Um, so, okay, there's soaked is protect, protecting the treasure. Is that who you are? You're Mr. Sarge. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna drown. You, you have a better okay. You have an ability to stay underwater. I do not. So it is not as fair. You're not. That's not fair at all. Okay. You take like little to no damage. <laughs> Goodness. Well, that's kind of lame. I can't really shoot arrows at you either. <laughs> I definitely can't fight underwater successfully. Wow, I just ate again and noticed that now we have a half a heart. So we're already at the level of, I think we're at 30 on our uh, diversity level. That's pretty high. And we've already gained a heart. So I'm definitely getting close. As you can see, the map is uncovering. And this guy is Ninetales. And I don't really know what I'm in for for this, but there's a building. Um... This could be quite interesting. I definitely want to place a waypoint down. I don't know if I'm 100% ready for a combat sort of scenario. I am, however, I have my gear equipped and I have my auto-feeding upgrade enabled. Is this the hut? I... it does appear to be. Hello, fair sir. You are Mr. Ninetales. Oh! Hello! Oh! You were literally stuck in the fence. You know what? There's actually an upgrade. <laughs> there was actually a fix for this. I'm, I'm going to let you out. Uh, please do not completely merc me. I would prefer not to have that happen. Uh, I will fight you normally. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. 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 Oh. 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 <laughs> okay. What is this? So that's your nine tails. That is your nine tails. And you are protected. Oh, God. I am hurt. I am hurt. <laughs> that was bound to happen. Let's be fair. Now, I'm almost wondering if we could just take him out using our bow and arrow. Oh, shoot. Rose health bar is completely gone. There it is. Okay. It does... Okay, he does take quite a bit of damage, it seems like. Also, why does... Oh, I guess you just walking over it collects your stuff. Interesting, interesting. Like, I, I feel like close combat with you is not the way to go. Actually, that grab attack seemed like it worked a little bit. Get you to go do that. And then dodge away. Oh, that worked quite well. So get him, get him to sort of trick. Oh, oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, I wasn't expecting the... Uh, the sword of reaching. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that hurts like a lot. Man, we probably need diamond armor at this point. 100%. So. Ooh. 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 Roll. Ooh, we got out of there just in time. Yeah, being on a level a little lower seems like a good idea. Oh! Whoo! This is a battle. Definitely. Ouch, man. That is not fair. Yeah, that is also not fair either. Oh! And I think, like, the health regens for sure... Oh, dude, 
Give me a break! Give me a break! This is not fair. I was not... Okay. Lower? When he does that. When he does the dash towards you? It's when he does this that is awful. Okay. Let him do that. And, of course, we're dead. My goodness. Now, I feel like having some sort of, like... I don't know. Some... Maybe we need upgraded gear? It's ha really hard to tell. Look at that. No damage. No damage. Okay, now I see a bar. Okay, arrows do do... They do damage. Just not always. That's interesting. Okay, so... We could get by with this oh, i love the lunge i know like doing arrows in this ver this uh will not be per permanent oh yeah this is definitely not the way to do this you're up there bud i don't think arrows are doing anything to you yeah that blocks arrows oh no arrows do still do damage you're just less likely to actually get a hit Okay, this I like to get up and out of the way because that does a lot of damage. I have the high ground. <laughs> I have the high ground. What are you going to do about it? Probably going to just one shot me here in a moment. Oh, thankfully we have the extra ability here to go. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Oh, come on. Okay. I might have to switch. I can't deal with the, the throwing. I'm learning. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? <laughs> I got poisoned and frozen in place. Oh, no. Oh, you got to love this. You got to love this. Okay. I want to try something with this guy. That might work. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. He's doing the thing again. Let's just run over our grave. Oh, we also have this guy over here. That's not helping any. Hey, bud. You need to sort of back off. This is me and this guy's fight. Okay. Okay. Let's get out of here real quick before we just get completely wrecked. Oh, boy. So what I want to try is placing down cobweb in an area and seeing does it work oh goodness it does work but it doesn't work for very long but it might be enough it might be enough to be able to get them stationary because I believe they'll just walk right into it ouch yeah there we go And then with this ability, we have our own ability to levitate because we're like, we're a crazy, crazy person. I don't really know what I would call myself that levitates. What monster levitates? Okay, we'll do that. Oh boy. The arrows do bounce off, but from time to time they do hit. So I need to bear in mind that. And I might just have to do the slow game, you know. The cobweb seems to be kind of working, though. If we can get them back into it. I think that's pretty cool. Maybe when it's in its, like, defensive stage, it, this falls right off on this. Ah, there it goes. So when it's, like, in an attack phase, it'll work. Oh, my goodness. So like that eventually eventually I will get this thing down to some low health <laughs> physically fighting it I think I'm maybe a little too ahead of my uh 
a little too ahead of myself. Okay, I'm definitely going to need to play the slow game with this. And then get back. Get back. Get back. Oh! By the way, the quiver, I don't know how to change slots so I'm out of arrows in whatever particular slot I was in. Ow, man, that does so much damage. Good thing, like, the building is, like, a place that this thing doesn't really bother you at. Boy, this is gonna be tough. All right, so I'm, I'm thinking when it dashes towards me, when it does the dash, I'll hit him and then move out of the way. And then I just continue this. And we just continue this repeat, I think, until it gets to a certain stage because it is just not handling. Yeah, it didn't handle that very well. Okay, let's try again. Nope. This is not fair. You can't do this ability to me and expect that to be fine. All right, come at me, bro. All right. Got away. We're getting we're getting there. We're definitely getting the combat up, which is pretty janky, but we're figuring it out. Okay, that's not... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Let's try to do some crazy ability. Alright, and can I get some extra damage on? I cannot. This is what is not fair. The ball? Alright, come at me. Okay, so we go through and then we dodge forward and that seems to do the trick. Oh yeah, I got you, man. You're done for. You're done for. It only took all day, a whole Minecraft day to figure out the mechanic. But I got you, dude. You are done. Look at this, dude. The, the roll is more powerful than anything. All the stuff we tried... Okay, come on. Dart at me, dart at me, dart at me. Oh, no, no, you're stuck in the cobwebs. Actually, cobweb, bad idea. Shouldn't have done the cobweb. I have now found that that was not a good idea. Because I can get stuck in the cobweb. Oh, man. Just making it extra slow. There we go. All right, we're out, we're out, we're out, we're out. Come at me one more time, one more time. I got this, I got this. And that was anticlimactic, but I got you. Done and done. How cool is that? And we got the thing where lies or where's Atlantis. Very cool. And is there anything in here? Uh, just some animals. And that's uh, that's some meat for us. Very cool. Let's go head back to our guild master. I was just about to head back and uh, that thing that um yeah I, I don't quite know what that is but i do want to take it out oh my oh goodness did we kill it <gasps> oh that was a close one that thing was scary looking it, it only took us a few kills or a few deaths to uh to get that going um unfortunately but uh let's talk with our guild master Mr. Guildmaster, would you please, would you please come over here, sir? Fair sir. My dude. My bro. All right, man. Come on. Come here. Hey, I need to talk with you. He's just enjoying the view, and I can't get into here. Come here. <laughs> I don't know what I would need. I'm ringing the bell, checking the ledger. Come here, bub. All right, maybe my other Guildmaster would be more helpful. I don't know what, what you're doing, man. Hello. Can I break your window? Maybe you'll answer me now. Hello. Aha, there we go. Hmm, at this point, I'm not even surprised. Good job. The Nine Tells was a notoriously violent spirit. I have no idea why it decided to retire at a abandoned barn. I, I have no idea either. Anyhow, <laughs> uh, here's the whereabouts of the next eye holder. Beware, this is nothing like the ones you faced before. Oh boy, I am kind of hoping that, uh, oh man. So this is Map of the Skeleton Lord. 
the whereabouts of the scared to the Lord. Oh, oh, and we unlock the enchanting table and smithing table. Oh, thank gosh. This is going to make things so much easier now that we have enchanting. Oh, some vanilla mechanics available to us. But this guy is the skeleton Lord. And as one of our other eye holders, we now have our third eye. Very, very cool. So guys, with all of that, Ninetales is now out of the picture. And well, that means the Skeleton Lord is our next uh, next target. And that sounds like a lot of arrows, a lot of arrows. So I hope I'm gonna be better prepared. And in between now and then, well, we are gonna have to get ourselves prepped up for another big fight. Guys, I hope you've been enjoying this Let's Play thus far. And if you have, be sure to slap that subscribe button if you haven't already and slap that like button. Also, slap the comment section. Well, actually, no, just, just comment down below if you want. I really do appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, guys, it is time to thank the supporter of today's video. I know I haven't done this in a little while, but it is time to thank my amazing supporters, uh, whether that is through Patreon, through Discord Premium, or even through YouTube members. So let me let me thank you guys. And that huge thanks is going to go to Caleb, or I believe it's supposed to be Kexlib over on the Discord, becoming a Discord premium member and supporting me in one of the best ways possible. Guys, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, yet again, thanks for watching. Oh man, should I have even shown this? Because I know somebody, somebody is going to use this and they're going to do something crazy with it. Eh, eh what do I know? Hey.